Hi, my name is Ahmad Galloway, and I am originally from San Diego, California, but I was raised in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, I have a deep passion for the entertainment business. Uh, I was an undergrad student at the University of Alabama, in which I was a scholarship athlete, uh, but I also had a deep passion for the love of the arts. Um, but with my sports background, is why I decided to get a master's in the full sales entertainment business um, degree with a concentration in uh, sports management. Um, and so I really hope to be able to fulfill uh, my dreams of working in the entertainment business uh, along with sports, but just not as the athlete. Um, in Robert Greene's book, um, he talks about the five strategies to finding your life's uh, task. And the first one that he talks about is returning to your origins. And what I gathered by that is uh, Greene really wanting you to take a deep look at what you encountered and loved as a child. Uh, this includes, uh, as Greene states in his book, um, blocking out all sources. Uh, including the, your parents uh, noise um, and, and taking just a deep look within yourself and blocking out all outside influences um, the second strategy that is discussed uh, is occupying your perfect niche uh, and your perfect niche what I gather is something that is uh, more than what you're good at uh, and something sometimes it's more than what you simply love to do it's more or less the mixture uh, of the two um, so it, it's more or less a mixture of your skill as well as your passion uh, green states in his book um, he, he references uh, Yoki Matsuku uh, who um, is famous now for robotic tech um, after she found something that she loved and then took that love and fueled it with passion and, and went into study. Um, she grew up loving tennis and playing piano. Um, she obviously loved um, looking at her hands uh, and, and had great hand-eye coordination, uh, of which is a skill set that takes uh, playing the piano and tennis and certainly um, a skill that a robotic uh, <laughs> a neural uh, surgeon would, would need to, I'm sorry, a robotic tech um, but certainly need to have um, and so when you think about the concentration level of not being able to move without um, you know damaging something important uh, that's certainly a skill set. Um, third, um, Green talks about avoiding the false path um, you know doing uh, and taking jobs or, or, or endeavoring tasks that are outside of what you want to do. It's more or less what others want you to do. And um, Green um, references Wolfgang, who, because of his father's dedication um, and, and and all the the classes that he put him in since the age of four, you know, he felt um, this is what he had to do. Uh, when people invest so much time into you, sometimes it's what you do to reciprocate that. You feel uh, like you owe them that. And so, um, um, the another strategy or the fourth strategy that Green references in, in mastery is letting go of the past um, and I think that's something that even the most successful people have a hard time doing but it's something that you have to do um, in, in order to get back up again uh, Green references Buckmeister Fuller uh, who was a great architect but uh, as the downturn came um, you know he he thought about committing suicide, but it was that inner voice that told him, um, you know, not to give up. Um, but he certainly was going to commit suicide uh, because of his um, his his past. He just he just couldn't live with the guilt. Finally, is uh, finding your way back, and I really think it's something that you have to do, um, whether you take that look uh, inside yourself or, or someone forces you to do it but there's a wake up uh, call that you get and you know that you have to do it um, I guess for me the most uh, thing that I look forward to uh, was 
just letting go of the past. Um, it's a journey, um, and and uh, Green references that as well. That um, you know more than a linear um, line, or, or just with it being linear, it's going to be a path, uh, and it's full of twists and turns. Um, thank you. My name is Ahmad Galloway, and thank you for watching this.